All right, let's check out our J-Car highlights. Beautiful, sunny conditions to get this race started, but plenty of lap one drama with the main game drivers starting. And how Ryan Wood's car did not get turned around on the opening lap, I'll never know. Richie Stanaway, first car out. Dale Wood, the only driver out of the 52 to not turn a lap today. That would bring out our first BP Pole safety car. We had a few, and that would also lead to some pit lane drama after the driver changes. That was Ryan Wood. He would end up getting a small penalty for that one. The battle between Wing Cup and Hazelwood, who was driving that guy's car, was pretty crazy. It would end up with Todd Hazelwood cutting a tyre and running way off the road where he had that enormous, mighty crash a few years back. Thankfully, he was able to just bounce off the fence and keep going. Ditto that, Lee Holdsworth. How about that for a spin right in front of Garth Tander, aside from Chas Mostert. Miraculously, that car would still come home in seventh. Second safety car period was pending off the back of the Pizza Hut car. Jordan Boys at the wheel into the fence. Not a good day for some of the younger kids here. And that was Kai Allen going back into the pits after hefty contact. That car did see the chequered flag. Second Brad Jones racing car in trouble. It was the SET Logistics car. That would lead to another safety car. Some more driver changes going. And the main game drivers got back in and squared off to go back to work. Chaz Mostert was on a recovery mission after the spin. How about this? Watch how close this got between Feeney and Brown. Did they make contact? Whack! Right at the exit of turn one. It was enough to make Jamie Winkup sigh in pit lane. That was oh so tight. Unfortunately, for car number one, Freddy Kostecki out of action. And on the restart, man, there was some drama. How about these guys? The Make It Super Triple Eight car would finish inside the top five with Cooper Murray at the wheel. Jack LeBrock off the track and into the fence. No case to answer there for Matt Payne, who was the other party involved with that one. Fighting it out all the way to the chequered flag. The two Red Bull Ampol Racing teammates. And it was very close, but just by the barest of margins, Will Brown has won the 500 here at Sandown with Scott Pye.